What's up, YouTube? So I've never TIG welded before. Um, so I'm definitely not a pro. I'm definitely an amateur. And uh, after about two hours of learning the material and the uh, TIG welder, you can see where I start it, right? We'll just, we'll just take you through it. Let's use this as a pointer. So this is a thin piece of uh, scrap. I'm not sure what type of aluminum this is. Um, it's probably not the highest grade. Uh, and that's a thin plate over top of here. So I started messing around with trying to dial the machine in here with the argon and flow and everything else. And then uh, over here, I was messing with it some more to see what we can get. I mean, I know it looks horrible. And then as I started learning the machine more and more and more, right? So look right here. Let's use this black thing. All right, so follow that right there, right? It's learning, 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 learning. I was like, oh, I came across an adjustment, learning, learning, learning. And then uh, just messing, 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 messing. I know it looks like seagull shit, but it is what it is right now because I'm learning. So then you'll see inside of here, right? I started to figure it out a little bit on the thinner material. Um, and then I stayed on this until I, you know, kind of figured it out. So getting some settings over here, getting some settings over here, settings over here. So you'll see that after about two hours of me messing with this machine, um, and this is thin gauge material. And then this was a bunch of holes that were drilled in it. So I tried to build up the material to work with super thin areas. And then over here, I said, all right, let me just try and dial it in. And you can see the progressions getting better. And I'm not sure what size material this is, but it's pretty thin. And we're gonna do intercore uh, stuff and we'll try and do some other stuff. This is really, really thin stuff. But I'm teaching myself how to do it, I'm not watching any videos, I'm trying to learn the machine, using the uh, Chem Sharp. Chem Sharp. Anybody know if you're supposed to add water to this to keep it from getting jacked up? I don't know. It was working. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I was burning through at first. You can see how it burned through. I think I'm still maybe a little too hot, but I'll, I'll get it figured out. But that's definitely penetrated there. You can see it. It definitely penetrated on the bottom side. But this piece is, is pretty much jacked for what I'm doing. So now I'll just practice on some newer stuff. Thanks for watching.